it's pretty well proven now that restoring uh, large woody debris or large wood habitat into Australian rivers um, sees a quite strong response in fish numbers. Today we're on the Merai River at Cassidy's Bridge or near Cassidy's Bridge um, and we'll be placing some fish habitat. So behind me you can see our fish hotels um, and we'll also have some lay down snags and root balls going in as well. We had volunteer labour come in last weekend, um, Ausfishers, who helped uh, construct these fish hotels and they're part of habitat packs going into the Merai River to improve the health of the river. So our fish hotels are a little man-made construction that's basically taking uh, lengths of logs and building them in a bit of a lattice to create a, a box. We've been lumping a whole lot of rocks in the middle um, and that'll provide weight for it to sink and stay uh, sunken during high flow events. These logs have been collected from Lake Alingamite, which was affected during the St. Patrick's Day fires. So Parks Victoria came in and felled a whole lot of hazardous trees and they opened it up to us to come and collect the timber um, to use for fish habitat. What we've done is above us here in the Merai, we've got a weir and all the works that have been done have been from the weir below. Uh, the Glenelg Hopkin CMA started early on uh, through some crowdfunding, etc. A lot of support from the local community and they've put fish hotels in lower sections of the river. Beyond that, uh, Ozfish started to become involved and we've put some lay down snags, some, some rocks and things. We've cleared uh, banks of vegetation and we've replanted native vegetation. So today these fish hotels go in um, and the idea behind those is they're a, a short to medium term uh, stopgap measure that puts some structure into the river to, to help the fish hide and breed and, and, and live in the river more successfully. So one of the beautiful things about involving community groups with the construction of fish hotels is it gives them a sense of belonging uh, to the work. So, um, so these fish hotels are a really useful tool um, where people can actually physically get their hands dirty and build fish habitat, which um, is a bit of a niche opportunity. It's, it's like a lot of things we do on waterways. If people don't have uh, ownership or a sense of um, participation in these events, whether it be reveg, whether it be building um, fish hotels, uh, people tend to become disconnected. Yeah, we're really trying to foster that sense of place for people in Warrnambool. Wherever we've put fish hotels or lay down snags or root balls, we've also come through and done a suite of weed control uh, and revegetation. So this fish habitat's only meant to last as long as it takes for the trees that we've planted to grow up and start contributing uh, their woody habitat into the system. What we're trying to really do is bring, bring life back to a, a small river in an urban environment so that people around here can, can freely recreate along the river. Uh, we have kids coming down here fishing. There's good populations of brim. There's a population of estuary perch in here. So if we improve the habitat, we improve the, the carrying capacity of the river itself. So uh, hopefully we can see those fish breed up. But the importance of these partnerships is not only are we working together, but we're having more conversations about issues that we see in these rivers. So we get a broad spectrum, a broad idea of, of what the problems in the, these rivers might be. So we then have uh, recreational fishermen like me having a conversation with managers about how we can improve the environment that we all want to see in a pristine condition. 